Hey guys, Jason Timothy here with MusicSoftwareTraining.com and I wanted to show you my stutter pads instrument. It does exactly what it says, although this instrument can actually stutter pretty much anything that you can think of. So the reason behind this tool was to create some simple way to take a regular sample or a long uh, pad sound or a synth and be able to create uh, nice little chops that match to tempo really, really easily. So let me give you just a, a quick demonstration of what it sounds like, and then I'll uh, take you inside it just a little bit. So there you have it. Um, so basically the way this works is uh, I set up this tool that uses uh, operator instrument and sap sampler instrument. These are just uh, regular pad sounds that you can manipulate and goof around with. And you can use the chain selector here to uh, move from one synth sound to another. So for example, So it just gives you a, kind of a, a nice little blend here of your sounds. And then I created this gating system where I could program in exactly the kind of stutters that I wanted to create so that my pad would automatically do that for as long as I wanted to. So I've got a bunch of presets here with all kinds of different types of stutters. Like so. So one of these tracks here is, is kind of the gating that allows the sound to come through wherever I put my notes. And you can, of course, make your own as well. And then I copied it to this track that I call the click track. And this, if I just solo this, just gives the sound a little bit more bite to it, depending on the sound that you're using. So. As you can kind of hear if you listen on headphones or something, there's some subtle clicks in there that go along with the rhythm. So oftentimes you don't need that too loud, but it will sometimes add a little bit of bite to your sound. Now I told you that you could use this tool to kind of chop up anything you want. And uh, that is absolutely true. So if you wanted to do that, you could um, come in here and drop your own instruments in here. And I'll show you kind of how that works. Let's go ahead and drop in a simpler instrument. And then here in the chain, what you're going to want to do is just drag this all the way across. And if you want it by itself, then you're just going to solo that. That way the other parts don't play. And now you can just kind of drag in your own sounds. So that. Okay, so let's just take this as an example. And we can just drag this part in here. 
and I'm going to loop that part. Cool. And now I can play this part in just by holding the note down and changing the, the notes. Turn that up a little. Looks like we're peeking a little bit, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, pop in a uh, limiter here. And yeah, you can take those sounds, or whatever you, you want to bring in. It usually works best on kind of long, drony types of sounds. Let me see if I can bring in... Let's just pull in this real quick. Long drony sound. So as you can see, you could get really, uh, really interesting stuff. You could also drag in, you know, you could drag in pretty much any loop and run it through effects and get some interesting stuff. Now the thing about loops though is the loops, just because you drag them into the simpler instrument, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to match to tempo. So that part might be a little bit tricky. You're, you're going to need to know the tempo of the sample and then change your, your tempo over here to match with the, the sample loop, if that's the case. But you could obviously put loops in there and see what kind of random stuff happens. And you know, what you do is you, you record those bits and save the parts that you like and bring them back in. But you could have all kinds of random fun just by bringing in different things to this. So there you have it. That is the stutter pads instrument if you like to have rhythmic parts to long samples or uh, like to experiment with that kind of stuff, this would be a fantastic tool. So if this instrument interests you, uh, just go ahead and there's a link below the video or wherever you're seeing there, so sh there should be a link that you can check it out. There you have it. I hope you like this cool little instrument.